Hi, I'm Johnny. I am a global artist ambassador for Phoenix 360, <laughs> and I'm joined today by the artist Autumn Woods. Hello, Autumn. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you too. How's it going? It's great. It's good to see you, Autumn. Now, listen, you wear a lot of hats as far as your creative expression is concerned. So what I want yeah. to do is I, I just want to share some of your performing work that you have up on YouTube. So, okay, if we okay. take that now. Oh, yeah, we can do that. I love it. Okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and take a look now uh, at Autumn Woods uh, from our YouTube channel. Hi there, my name is Autumn Woods and this is my journey with PTSD. So PTSD is a part of my identity that I share openly and honestly with anyone, just like I would my hair color or my tattoos because it's not something I should be ashamed of and frankly, it's the shame that comes with mental health disorders that is robbing us of so many amazing humans, one of which is my mom. So my journey with PTSD is also kind of the story of my mom and I's relationship and it's gonna be a lot to condense into a few minutes here, but um, in brief, she gave birth to an amazing little boy when I was in third grade, but unfortunately he had quite a few birth defects and they had to live together in the hospital for about two years. That led to me essentially having to become not only my own parent in third grade, um, but I was also then parenting my other younger brother at the same time while my dad was working full time, trying to keep us afloat in light of all of the new hospital bills. Um, additionally, during that time, I was being severely bullied when I was in school, maybe because of all of the ways that lacking a parent figure was manifesting in my behavior, but I also was starting to develop general anxiety disorder as well. And kind of throughout school and high school, I was able to use general anxiety and PTSD almost as my escape mechanism to dive headfirst into school and use that as my way out of my situation. So I actually have PTSD and anxiety to thank for being where I am in life right now with um, a bachelor's degree in science, graduated two years summa cum laude with my master's degree then. Um, I'm a teacher now and I've done research in Costa Rica with SLOSS and followed my dream. I've done all these amazing things because of anxiety and PTSD. But unfortunately, I also lost my mom. Um, after she came back from the hospital, she started to develop an addiction to alcohol and then unfortunately, she had some people in her life that made her feel like she shouldn't have to be taking antidepressant medication. And so one day she quit cold turkey and within a few months, I lost her to suicide. And just knowing her journey and despite the struggles that we had and the, the conflicts and the way that I almost had to become her parent once she lost herself to her alcoholism is something that I'm still recovering from but it's also changed my mindset on humanity in general about how we need to be so much more compassionate with others because in reality, you can, you can dislike something that somebody does, but that person is still inherent of value. And as a teacher, it comes into my classroom as we talk about social justice and changing our incarceration system to reflect forgiveness in society and being compassionate with others and trying to understand where they come from, what demons they carry with them and how can we look at another human and say, I see you for all of your struggles, but I also accept you because I have my own struggles too and we're working through it together. Autumn, that was really cool to watch and I just love to see you in action, but there's also a strong message behind the work. And so I'm just wondering if you could tell me the inspiration for that content. And also I'd love to know where you're from and some of the highlights of your journey of being an artist. Yeah, of course. And so actually like, one thing I love about this video is that it's a great stepping stone for the journey that's taken me everywhere. So I touch a little bit about my history with PTSD and mental health in that video, but it's, huh? it's really mental health is, is the reason why I found myself in the arts, you know, um, writing music helped me process a lot of the stuff that I was going through as a kid performing on stage is the moment that I was really I, I say it, it's my meditation because that's when I'm able to actually focus on my breath, what I'm doing, the dancing, the, the steps, the words, the lyrics, the notes. I can't think about the anxiety. I can't think about the doubts, the worries, everything else that's concerning me. And I've always found that so amazingly therapeutic. And so kind of taking my artistic history with music and dance and theater and combining that with my passion for sharing 
just my, my story, my voice in regards to mental health awareness and advocacy, especially is um, kind of where I've found myself now. I've always been an educator and I think having the platform that I've started to create on Instagram and on YouTube is really helping me reach out to people that perhaps haven't heard the right words to help them know where they are in their journey. And they reach out to me and they tell me, hey, that interview that you did or that video that you posted or that song that you wrote, those are helping me process things that I didn't even know I was carrying with me. And that really makes me feel good, right? Like at the end of the day, sure, it's nice to get a like on a picture because I look pretty, but it's a lot more important to be able to touch people's hearts. And so um, I grew up in a pretty small town that was you know, kind of single-minded and like a lot of people experience once I decided to kind of take the reins on my own self-growth and an identity journey, I, I went to college and just entered a whole new world of thought. And that's where I, I really wanted to taste the world. And so I went from my small town in Southern wow. California, um, like wine country to San Diego. And then from there, I moved to Italy and I moved to Costa Rica and then I came back from a lot uh, for a little bit just to get my master's degree nothing big um, and then you know now I'm I'm an educator by trade and I'm an educator by desire and I love bringing people to their own personal authentic journey in everything that I do. Oh, man Autumn I'm so inspired it's so great to hear your story and you're so articulate in expressing your story. It's so great to hear. Now, I got to tell you what, you know, it started, you know, at a, uh, a young age, I'm sure this spark in you because you have this divine energy that I can tell that you pour into all these different forms of passionate art. Um, and so let me ask this question then. Um, and also it brought you to numerous places. You lived overseas, Costa Rica. These are very exotic locations. You know what I mean? Your persona and also, you know, your appearance indeed also is strikingly beautiful. It's very powerful. So let me ask this question now. Tell me about some of the other artists that you maybe you enjoyed or were inspired by that made you feel like, oh, I really want to be a performer. Oh, my goodness. There's there's so many. Like, I remember probably one of the first artist, you can call it this, um, was Barney. When I was a kid, I loved to watch Barney, not because of the purple dinosaur, but because I wanted to be one of the kids with the purple dinosaur. I'm like, whoa, they have a platform where other kids are watching them and that's how they can share their voice with other people. And I thought that was amazing. And then of course, you know, I had my Britney Spears phase cause I was a kid during like the lucky and oops, I did it again. Like I would play those on repeat, but more recently, um, somebody who has always stood out to me as just an amazing artist is Ariana Grande, just because, I mean, you can't listen to her voice and not hear that vocal ability. Oh. Uh, but also in regards to the way that she's able to show the processing that she experiences, that authenticity in some of her albums, um, especially the one where um, she's, she's processing a lot of grief. I have always connected to the way that you can tell somebody your story in a way that also helps them understand their own story. And I find that um, a lot of her music does that. And then outside of specific artists, I've always been just a, an enjoyer of music. It doesn't matter the genre, it doesn't matter um, you know, who the singer is, if it, can, if it can catch my ear, I suppose, because it's a little different, it's a little nuanced, it's not the same cookie cutter carbon copy, but instead shows some innovation, uh, something that kind of grabs my attention, gets me that original in. Um, I love to explore and I spend hours making my playlists. Like I, I don't let Spotify do it. I have to choose every single song. Okay. And of course, within a week, I'm going to make a new one. Right. So I, I, right now I'm into, um, to name a few, I love Strome. I think Strome is just amazing. Adele, of course, is speaking uh -huh. to me in ways that I didn't know I needed to be spoken to right now. Um, there's just so many people that have such a, a way with, with using music as a way to touch other people's souls. 
Absolutely. And listen, and soul work is actually what it's about. And you really are tapped yeah. into that because you're elevating people in, in awareness to certain conditions like PTSD. You're basically sharing your story and being authentic and honest about that to help elevate people's consciousness and bring them up and inspire them and encourage them to keep forward and, and moving forward in a connected way. And so that's really beautiful, Autumn. I love it. So let me ask this question. What are you working on right now or what's coming up in the near future that maybe if we tune into your Instagram, we might expect you dropping? Yeah, so there's a lot going on right now. Um, I'm in like a really fertile creative stage, I suppose you could call it. I'm doing a lot of modeling, especially right now. Um, I, you know, when I shaved my head last year, I didn't think that it was going to become a new hair trend and a lot of artists especially around me are doing um hair art and like hair designing and so i've been doing a lot of partnerships with them where i just tell them like do whatever you want my head is your canvas and then we'll do a little photo shoot afterwards and that's a lot of fun um i'm really big on vintage and thrifting and i've been doing some photo shoots with some local vintage artists that have been just like dying to see clothes on a human you know and, yes. and I'm always excited for that because I, I love fashion too it's all just self-expression right yeah. like there's so many different ways um so you'll see a lot of that on my Instagram you'll also see just songs that I write normally I like to do it like the I'll write a song on my drive to work and then right before I go into work I'll post the song so you get to see the really raw um process it's not like it's been something that I've been sitting on for weeks you know, producing it, et cetera. It's just, this is what I wrote to help me process something. And I want to share it with my Instagram audience and see how it's received. Um, and that's kind of everything that I do. I just like to share and see how it's received. I like to see just what people think of it. Um, I written and published a book back in, in college and everybody's like, oh, are you going to, you know, try and get a publisher and everything? I'm like, oh, I'll just self-publish it. Like, make it like $2 on Amazon because I just wanted people to read it. And I just wanted to know what they thought. It wasn't about making the money or, or anything like that. It was just wanting to know how my art was being received. Well, that's beautiful. And I got to tell you what, it's interesting. And it's also a slippery slope whenever you actually create any art where there could be responses that are negative or people don't like it or what have you. And you got to roll with that yeah. too as an artist, you know? Oh yeah. But the thing is you have to be true to yourself. And your art mm -hmm. and expression is going to find that audience and it's going to enlift those that are meant to, in essence, hear it and to be inspired by it. And, and so it's healing music that you're writing and performing. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's really divine stuff, Autumn. It's beautiful and I love it. So we're going to look forward to following your progress. Thanks so much for meeting with me today. I want everyone That's to tune great. in to Autumn Woods' social media channels. <laughs> You'll find them below our interview, and we will look forward to her coming up on Phoenix 360. Autumn, thank you so <laughs> thank much. Thank you. All right. It was so nice to meet you. It was so nice to meet you, too. You take care. Me, too. Hey, how's it going? My name is Autumn Woods. Thanks for stopping by this channel today. We're going to talk about how I got this awesome haircut. Uh, we're going to do a little hair modeling story time here while I get ready with a very gentle face of makeup. Nothing too crazy today. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of acne surfacing right now. I think part of it's stress, part of it's mask knee, hormones, weather. Uh, who knows, you know? My skin kind of just does its own thing. Um, and we embrace her. We love her. Thank you for being the largest organ of my body and for protecting me from the external environment. Um, that's one thing as an anatomy teacher. It's really hard to be upset with my body when I realize like how hard it's working every single day to keep me alive. Um, you know, like even down to the smallest little proteins that are double checking my DNA to make sure that it was copied correctly. Like you gotta, you, you gotta appreciate the small things. And the more I learn about all the small things that have to work absolutely perfectly for me to like even be able to talk to you right now, it's really, really hard to be down. Um, so I'm, I'm really thankful <laughs> that I'm teaching anatomy and biology and forensics and all these other things that I'm sure we'll get into at some point. But today, today is about hair. So, um, before I get into it, I just want to show it off a little bit. Hi. Hello. This side. Hello. Hi. 
the back of my head. Let's see if I can do this without messing up my entire setup here. Looks pretty awesome, right? If you do say so yourself.